Hospitallers are jacked. To be a Hospitaller is to have the most powerful arm muscles in the Imperium. It doesn't matter if you work with the Bloody Rose or our Martyred Lady, you have the ability to lift up a woman in full power armor with a massive power pack with one arm and cradle her on your knee to provide medical attention or last rites. So being strength three only is very confusing to me. Despite the armor color on display here, Hospitallers are not part of the Order's Militant. They help all Imperial forces with medicine and have dedicated medical orders like the Order of the Cleansing Water or the Order of the Ladies with the Lamp. Though actually that one doesn't do nursing, it talks about the importance of nursing while it shows off pie charts of casualties to Imperial commanders. I was previously dismissive of Hospitallers compared to Imagifiers, but after switching to Hospitallers, I recommend you do the same. Invulnerable saves that you get from the Imagifiers are not great on Battle Sisters. Minus one AP brings it up to a four plus anyway, and that's when cover triggers, cause you can't get better than a three plus save on the benefit of cover. The main reason I was taking Imagifiers was that in theory, all of the units that die within 12 inches, you're gonna get better miracle dice from them. And I know that it is a tactic, one that I recommended myself to have several units that just go out and die to generate miracle dice. I don't like it when my units die. I don't want to make some units with the purpose of getting them killed. Though it is a tactic, I have found that keeping your models alive will help you win the game. Crazy thought, I know. So the hospital is five plus feel no pain and ability to restore wounds to injured characters is much more useful. They no longer have the ability to resurrect models, so you're not getting D3 Battle Sisters back, but the Feel No Pain prevention is better than cure. And we know this from my live streams where I talked about 9th edition, where I gave a Hospitaller a Relic Bolt Pistol so that she can murder Chaos Space Marines very easily. If the enemy can't hurt your sisters, then there's no need to get out the medicine tools. Bolt Pistols are part of the medical pack. There are several units that the Hospitallers can join, and I think they are best in Battle Sister squads, as that is the only squad where she can double up with another character. And having the character in the same unit makes it really easy to use the Sacred Healing ability. The Battle Sisters are a squad of 10, so that's a lot of models that you're affecting with your 5 plus feel no pain. Battle Sisters are a unit that you're not just going to want in your deployment zone on that objective, but also moving up to the midfield to gain more objectives. While those Battle Sisters are generating Miracle Dice from being on the objective, she provides a midfield bunker of healing so other characters can fall back to her and then get healed. So units like Celestine and Ephriel Stern, who have quite a decent movement, are able to fall back there and get healed. You could put the Hospitaller with a unit of Sacrosants, but that is where you probably do want an Imagifier because that improves their armor save. Not a bad choice though. For the Dominions, you've again got 10 much like the Battle Sisters and they're going to be moving up. However, because the Hospitaller does not have Scout, the unit loses the ability to Scout, which is one of the good things about Dominions, that you can get them onto objectives very quickly in the first turn. The Hospitaller is also rather good for Retributors. You can only have five models in the squad. Every model there is valuable. You don't want to be losing any single gun from that squad because it noticeably damages the unit. Unlike with Dominions and Battle Sister squads where you have regular sisters with bolt guns that can be removed before the special and heavy weapons. And the last squad she can join is a group of Battle Sister Novitiates, the other combat squad that she can join. The Novitiates have a rather poor save of four plus, so the five plus feel not pain can be useful, but if you were thinking of bringing Novitiates, bring Battle Sisters instead. If anything, you should buy one box of Battle Sister Novitiates to get the Hospitaller and a lot more characters besides. It will mean that your Hospitaller is on like a 25, 28 millimeter base instead of a 50 millimeter base. That isn't just a doubling in size, it's, hang on, 3.14 times. It's, it's like much bigger, like four times bigger. It's a diorama more than a model, but some people will insist on me using the bigger base size or to put a bit of card under it or a bit of paper to make it the correct size. Games Workshop just went a bit weird with this model. You care about the base size? Is 25mm okay like the previous versions were? Or would you insist on a 50mm? If there are enough comments on it, I'll do a community poll and we'll let democracy decide. Just running a pure Battle Sisters army list, my win rate is 50% this edition. But then, once I switched out to Hospitallers, it's gone up to 60% and the Hospitaller was a key part of that. But I do think help is required for the Battle Sisters, and I've completed a video to make the underperforming Battle Sisters better with the use of Imperial Agents, Knights, and a Titan if you want. My darlings and viewers, have a great day of 40k.